I don't know if you can see what these, there's still flies on her. She's like, get back. You can see that, see that tail wagon? Those flies off. Yep. So what I'm excited about as part of these minerals, what I'm excited about is they have a mineral block that has garlic in it. I've heard garlic being in some of these mineral blocks before. Oh. Whoa. So that was mama running off her last year's calf, Chaske, our first born bull. That was interesting. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Thank you guys for watching our videos. And if you haven't, subscribe to us and follow us along. We're a small ranch in Southern Oklahoma raising the American Bison. I'm really pumped and excited. I, I've got something to show you. As you can tell here on our utility trailer, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. I'm really excited about some new products. Not only products for just livestock, deer, sheep, goats. We don't have all those. Well, we have some sheep you can hear every now and then. We do have some deer you can see in some of my videos, but they actually have products for bison. Check this out. So what I did is a gentleman reached out to me from Redmond Minerals, located in Utah. And he was talking to me about trace minerals. And I told him that we use trace mineral blocks. That's something we don't really talk about in my videos. You, you may not even see them in my videos. We have a couple of trace mineral blocks out in the pasture, but the trace minerals, it's really not that big of a deal. I haven't made it a priority. We always try to have them out just so our bison can get those extra minerals that they need. Well, gentleman reached out to me and offered to send me some products to try i'm really pumped because these products a lot of these products what i think is in here is designed just for bison and I'm, this is something that you don't see that often a bison are kind of left out of the situation there's a lot of minerals and there's a lot of supplements um, for cattle pigs sheep goats those typical livestock animals but bison is really not ever included in that but now these guys have bison products and i'm really excited to try them and see how it goes let's look into it dad gum I didn't know he's gonna send me this much stuff. He said, I'm gonna send you some stuff. I want you to try it out. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Now I gotta unload it. I gotta have to, I gotta find a spot in the barn to unload all this now. Kinda anxious to see what's down there, and see what's in this thing. But so far, it's pretty cool. This is so cool. I'm so excited. I'm about out of breath because I was unloading a bunch of it. But guys, take a look at this. Bison. We got bison product right here. A premium mineral mix designed just for bison. I know this is one of their most popular. They have a bison 90 and then they have another one. They have two products for bison and you guys can check this out online. So you got bison 90, which is this loose mineral right here. And then they also create a Redmond Bison 418. And um, I'm not really sure the difference yet, but um, I, I do have some studying to do. What I just wanna see is these bison get some good minerals in them. And I wanna see how they react too. I don't know a ton about these products yet, but I am pumped to figure out what these minerals can do for our bison. I know that this company would not send me these products if they didn't believe in what they have. Okay, so we got some goat product here. So if you guys didn't know, I showed sheep. Grandmother and my stepdad, Kevin, they still raise sheep on the other side of town. 
They've raved sheep for a long time. You can go back and watch one of my videos about why I thought FFA is important or why I think FFA is important. So you've got goat products here. Can also be used for sheep, a uh, goat mineral mix. So here's a product I'm excited about right here. Meant for all livestock. You got sheep, you got pigs. Hey, even little chickens, goats, and then cattle. And then you can go ahead and throw bison in there as well. So you've got loose mineral and then you have the block. So check this block out. This block right here is a natural block with garlic. And I've been picking up this, these products and I smell like garlic. You guys cooked in the kitchen before like you're slicing onions or sliced garlic, gets on your hands, starts to, I mean, you smell it. Garlic is strong. This stuff is strong. I, I smell it all over my shirt. But what this garlic is supposed to do is keep the flies away. It's supposed to um, prevent flies, ticks, any type of pest um, or insect that can get on these animals garlic is supposed to shed that away i mean it's, i guess you know, like garlic is used to uh keep away the vampires right uh those flies are vampires to our bison and so we want to try to keep them off of them as possible a gentleman talked to me about this using garlic and i'd heard this before and i'd heard people had used garlic before to repel the flies i can't just go rub garlic on my bison right can't do that but there's a product right here um, that I'm really excited to try and to see if that really works because yes, I still have my rub and the bison have been rubbing on it. They like to rub up against that or pipes or trees, but I, I have watched them rub on my rub uh, that I treated. I've treated twice now as a flower repellent. Now you've got a mineral with garlic, something that we consume as humans um, out here for bison to try to repel the flies. And we're still in that season right now yeah, we're approaching fall, but it's still hot here in Oklahoma. We've had a lot of rain and the flies are still going to be here for a while. So really anxious to see how these products work. Just regular mineral salt here, all loose mineral. So you've got a natural block with garlic and then you have just a natural block here. High in calcium, obviously your salt, copper iodine, iron, manganese, zinc, potassium, sulfur, yes, sulfur. For all classes of livestock, for all classes of beef, dairy, cattle, sheep, goats, pigs, and horses. So I'm gonna put out the first block that we're gonna do, that we're gonna try. It's the natural block um, with garlic. We're still in fly season, so I'm gonna use that one first. And I'm going to leave the other one out there, the just regular good old plain Jane trace mineral block that I, that I always get. Um, pretty common mineral block, and we're going to see how that goes. In the meantime, I'm going to get some trace mineral containers so that um, once we go through this testing trial of, this, of these minerals from Redmond, um, I'll start putting that loose mineral out. I do have some trace mineral block containers, some plastic containers. Um, my dad gave me, he was using for, uh, he was putting blocks out for his deer. And so I'm going to use those. I've been putting my trace mineral blocks in them. I'm going to put the garlic out. I'm going to see how the flies do with the bison. Uh, every time the bison come up to me or, I, or the, where I'm feeding them, I always like to check them and see how the flies are doing. You gotta be super quiet because when bison hear gates, they know something's going on. So if you wanna get out in the pasture with bison without them knowing it, you gotta be quiet when they open the gates because when they hear that rattle, they, they show up real quick and I can't get in the pasture with them. Your label off so here's a regular trace mineral block guys to be honest with you this mineral block has probably been out here for probably at least three to four months not even kidding 
you can see some of the lick marks here. It is not much bigger than the mineral block I'm about to put out. Some water, that's from just water erosion. So three or four months block right here. We're gonna set the other right next to it. What's also amazing to me is that you can take natural products from Mother Earth, mine them out, whatever you call it, and you can take those minerals raw from deep down in the earth, take them and turn it into this. I think it's amazing. Obviously that's where we get our salt from and have for many, many years is from the earth and a, and a lot of our minerals come from what mother nature has provided. But the fact that they can take it, put it in here, put garlic in it and make this compact mineral block. I think it's really cool. Don't get me wrong about trace mineral blocks. This here, the one that's been out for a long time, use trace mineral blocks. I mean, 95% of these mineral blocks is salt, okay? Sodium chloride, NaCl2, a little chemistry for you. Most of these mineral blocks are salt anyways. I'm not dogging on this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a test trial to this. I'm really anxious to see how these blocks do. We'll see how it goes. I, I wanna see, first of all, do they like the flavor? And um, we'll see how fast this goes. So, mineral block on the right, been there for three or four months. Mineral block, day one. We'll see how it goes. Which one's it gonna be? Let's see what the bison think. Is this the other male right here? No. Here's what I do know. I may not know a lot about these minerals, but I'm gonna learn a bunch. But what's important, guys, is that we're taking care of our bison and we're giving them as many minerals, whatever we need, to make sure our bison are super healthy. We wanna make sure our bison as healthy as they can be. I wanna raise the best herd that I can. And um, sorry I'm out of breath. I've been moving this stuff around. So anyways, no matter what, as long as it's safe and it's good for these bison, we'll take care of them the best we can. Can't go wrong with that. Well, it seems like they already like it, uh, which is pretty nice. That's a good feeling. Um, they put that block out there and immediately when they come up there, I, I noticed that they had that, they had that nose up and, and they come straight towards it. And Eleanor and a couple of the calves came up there and Eleanor seemed to love it. The others, not all of them came up to it, but give it a little time once they figure out what's new in their pasture i'm anxious to see how long it takes them compared to that uh just that salt mineral block 
compared to the new one with garlic in it. We'll see and um, I want to see the results uh, if it can keep some of the flies away as we start to approach into fall. That mineral block is a seasonal mineral block. If I'd have had them earlier in the summer, I'd have been able to put that out, um, which would have been a little bit better. We're getting towards the end when it's starting to cool down and we won't see as many flies as we normally would. But I'm excited to, to also use uh, some of those other products like that Bison 90 Mineral. And I love evenings like this. The bison always come down to this bottom pasture and they always come down here to uh, settle for the night. And um, it's really pretty with the sun coming down right here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to us. Very lucky. Thank you for uh, Redmond uh, Minerals out of Utah uh, for reaching out to me and wanting to try a new product. What I'm really happy about is the fact that they created something for bison. You see lots of, lots of minerals and lots of supplements uh, created for all livestock but bison are, are kind of left out and that's okay. But Redmond is one of the companies that is reaching out there and, and doing something a little bit different and creating something for bison. I don't know if a lot of bison producers use this, but one thing that I focused on when I did a little bit of research on it is the conception rates were higher from uh, bison producers that did use the Redmond products and conception rate is important. This year we were one baby short from one of our younger heifers that didn't have a baby and that was Peaches. Peaches didn't have a baby. And um, so you can't go wrong by giving the bison more minerals and giving them a, more of an opportunity. And you can get a natural product from Redmond. Can't wait to see the results of this and how the bison react to uh, the, the Redmond minerals and that salt block. Here they all come. They think I got food with me, but I don't. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching us. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. You can check us, uh, check some gear out. Got some hats and some shirts out there at crosstimmersbison.com. Thank you guys.